Hey guys, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what type of knot you should be using when you're using spinner baits. Now, I got this question uh, quite often on a recent video that I did showing how to use uh, spinner baits for fall redfish. So, if you haven't seen that video, definitely be sure to check it out at the link down below. And as far as what type of knot you should be using, now the biggest mistake I see people make is using a loop knot. This is the one knot that you do not want to use because if you're using a spinner bait that has this style of an arm on there where it's just a curved uh, loop, there's, it's not really enclosed. If you use a loop knot, you can see that line is now free to go anywhere on the arm of the spinner bait and that is going to uh, really mess things up. So you have to use a knot that is snug to the arm of the spinner bait. Now my go-to knot with spinner baits is going to be the trilene knot. That has been my go-to for any type of you know lure that I have to tie a knot snug to the actual eye or the arm of the bait. As you can see there, that is a trilene knot. And I'll go ahead and show you how to tie it really quick. Go ahead and get these guys out of the way. So we have the spinner bait here. These spinner baits that I'm showing you here are the Redfish Magic spinner baits. I customize them a bit by putting a different jig head on there. Uh, sometimes I'll use a trout eye jig head or I'll use different sizes of the Strike King jig heads. And then, you know, whatever lure you really want to put on there. In this case, I have a Gold Digger three and a half inch paddle tail. And we do sell all this on our shop page. So you can uh, pick that up at fishstrong.com if you are interested. But as far as tying this knot, let me go ahead and get some leader here. So first thing you're going to do is take your line and you're going to just go underneath that arm, underneath the little curve in the arm. Then from there, you're going to double the line back over. So you're going to go back under the arm to form sort of a little loop here, like so. So now we have this loop, as you can see, I have it big so you can see it there. You have that loop and then you're going to make that loop a little bit smaller. Then you're going to grab the tag end and also the main end of the leader, sort of pinch them at the loop, keep them together. And then you're just going to start wrapping that tag end around the main section of the leader about five times. That's about how many times I do it, four or five times. And then you're going to take that tag end and you're going to go back through both loops near the arm of the spinner bait and then cinch it down make sure it is in there in that uh, notch when you do cinch it down and sometimes you do want to wet the line so you can use in a you know saliva or dip it in the water go ahead and wet that there and then cinch that knot down then a little trick for cinching uh, these knots down is to pull hold the lure in, in one hand Hold the line, the leader tight in the other, and then just slide your thumbnail down as you're pulling to cinch that knot down. And then we're going to cut the tag end off, like so. And there you go. A knot that is snug to the lure, that way it doesn't slide up and down the arm. Now some spinner baits, they may have an enclosed eye, you know, it's a solid eye, there's no opening. In that case, you could use a loop knot if you wanted to, but you really don't need to use a loop knot with a spinner bait because all the action is in the blade and the lure that's on there. You don't need any wobbling or any extra action that you would typically need if you use, you know, like just a regular soft plastic, uh, a jerk shad or something like that where you need that extra movement with that loop knot. So again, if you are using a spinner bait that has that open arm style where it's just a curve, a bend in the arm that you tie your line to, you have to use a snug knot. And in this case, I like to use a trilene knot, but you could really use any type of knot that is snug to the arm of that bait. So hopefully this tip can help clear things up as to, you know, what type of knot you should be using with spinner baits and what type of knot you shouldn't be uh, using with spinner baits. Again, we do sell these on our shop page, everything from the Redfish, uh, Redfish Magic spinner bait, which is the complete spinner bait, or you can buy the complete spinner bait and then, you know, add whatever type of lures, paddle tails, uh, artificial shrimp, different size paddle tails, jerk shads, all types of lures will work with a spinner bait and also various styles and types of jig heads. 
So you can pick them up over at fishstrong.com. And keep in mind, if you are one of our insider members, you do get an exclusive discount on all tackle and gear on the shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish. Not only with tips and in-depth courses, but also with our new Smart Fishing Spots app that actually tells you exactly where to fish, when to fish there, plus so much more. You also save tons of money with tackle discounts and network with tons of anglers in your area in the Insider community. So thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the Insider community soon.